James, we've been walking the floor of Expo looking at intriguing platforms and intriguing ideas. We uh, stopped past, and even though it's still a little bit over quarter scale, Atlas has got my attention here. Tell me all about your vehicle. Well, we are designing actually the full-scale version, which you can sort of see close to full size there, and those are the rotors, is a cargo aircraft, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, carry 500 pounds for hundreds of miles. We hope to have it flying next year, the full-scale one. Now, you had mentioned that the control system on this aircraft is unique in that technically there are no control surfaces per se. That's correct. It's a unique technology. We call it managed auto rotation. It's patented. And basically, it's a sophisticated gyro aircraft because it flies in near auto rotation. So all the control is done by varying the RPMs. It basically is like a multi-copter for takeoff and landing. Mm -hmm. and has the simplicity of a multi-copter. There are no control surfaces, nothing to fail, nothing to tilt, but it flies as efficiently as a regular fixed wing aircraft. It has a glide ratio of 10 and a half to one uh, full weight. What was behind your building a mission profile for this aircraft? Where did you see the need? Well, actually, I've been playing around with this, not this specific idea, but ideas of this for many years, and saw the opportunity to create an aircraft that you take off and land. It was simpler. I came up with the idea how to do it, so realized that this could be really instrumental in uh, carrying cargo, and we're looking really at things like developing world applications as well as relief and military. They're very interested in something like this to, for forward base support, that kind of stuff. One of the things in the U.S. we talk about is the last mile delivery and how difficult it is. And there's some estimates that 28 percent of the total cost is in the delivery of the last mile. When you go to the developing world like Africa, it's really the last 100 miles because they don't have the infrastructure to be able to get anything there or there at all. So the real opportunity is in areas, not that there's not opportunities here, but the real opportunity is to be a paradigm breaker and actually come in and show that you don't need that infrastructure to actually deliver cargo to the villages or, or wherever because that can be done from a, a point of supply directly to where you need to go and done very economically. So what's the development program look like from here? Well, we are in the process right now of starting to actually fabricate the full-scale aircraft. We've been doing a lot of testing on this because it's a different kind of aircraft. It requires a totally different set of control laws. And so we spent a lot of time doing that and specking out the flight envelope, and we're very, very satisfied. And so we're actually in the process right now. We have the design done, and we're in the process of fabricating a spec next year. We're hoping we're actually going to have a big booth, and we're actually going to have a full-size atlas sitting there on the floor for everybody to take a look at, see how the car goes loaded, and, uh, and hopefully get some people to be signing up to, to buy some. i got to see this thing fly. Yeah, yeah we do too. <laughs>